Welcome to PlayPianoToday.com. This is part two of two from chapter six in the piano lesson series titled Blues for Piano and Keyboard. Now we're going to work on the individual notes of this right hand blues riff, the static riff, blues riff number two, frame by frame. Now once again, the reason that this static riff works over every chord in the blues is because the notes that make it up are taken from the blues scale. Now in chapter 11 of this blues course, we go over every conceivable blues scale zoomed in in ultra slow motion. But just for reference, let me show you the C blues scale here. octave blues scale. That's the blues scale from C. Chapter 11 of this blues course is one of those chapters that you really have to nail real solid if you want to become a great blues player because it deals with foundations. It deals with all of the blues scales. In addition to the standard blues scales, we go through a lot of different kinds of blues scales. For instance, the turnaround blues scale is really useful in creating great blues riffs. Let me show you an example of that. Watch for the hand turning around within the blues scale. Now I'm not going to go over all the detailed fingering. You can go through chapter 11 and it literally goes through every key. It'll work you through in different speeds until you become very proficient at playing the blues scales and that will really open up your world of playing in the blues because your hands will be free. But this static riff is very simple to play. Here's the first two notes. Play the next note with my thumb. Now I go over my thumb and come down with my thumb. Pretty simple. Kind of the skeleton of that blues scale and again that's why it works so well over every chord in the blues. Now the power of learning all these different blues riffs comes when you learn that you can put them into your own music and into your own songs and alternate and mix and match them any way you'd like to come up with powerful arrangements by ear. Now this really is the premise of our course titled Pattern, Piano, and Keyboard. If you haven't yet learned to play by ear and you want to learn all the foundations that this blues stuff is based on, go through the online demo found at playpianotoday.com. All right, let's get to the good stuff. We're going to play all the way through the 12-bar blues again. This time, we're going to alternate riff number one with the static riff, riff number two. And as I play through, watch for both riffs played in different octaves or registers on the keyboard. All right, here we go. Alright, there it is. Lots of fun with a few extra goodies thrown in there at the end. Actually, that long extended riff all the way down the keyboard. We're going to study that within just a couple chapters. So stick with me. We've got a lot of great stuff to dig into.